Hello, I'm Dave Benson Phillips, and you're watching one of the Set for Success interviews. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Ms. Jade Lally, who unfortunately cannot be here as reasons best explained by herself during the interview. She's going to Australia to do some training. In the meantime, watch this interview. It's amazing. So, as you can see here, this is Ms. Jade Lally. Now, to to everybody else, what do you actually do? Um, as a as a normal job, I, I work in the gym, and then my my uh, side life is. Being an athlete, but it's a very important side life. It isn't is it? my yeah. It's more. It's kind of my growing side life. It's supposed to be my career at one day. Hopefully, if it all goes well, it will be my career, my but, discus throwing career. Ah, now that's what I was getting to because you're a discus thrower, but you've been very modest about what you're saying because you've actually got a medal. Haven't you? I do have a medal. I very recently won uh, a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games. So, yeah. How did that feel? a kind of feeling where you don't quite believe it's happened you don't I don't know you don't sort of live you kind of live in a moment and you try and take everything in but it's it's a really odd feeling I personally felt really out of place being there because I was like oh I knew I could come third and when I come third I was like oh well I, I don't know how to be I don't know what to do but no it was it was an amazing feeling oh that is good to that now I've got to talk to you about your career but first of all I just want to get this out of the way discus throwing um what is it precisely? I mean, is, is, it, is it like throwing a frisbee? It's nothing like throwing a frisbee. Apart from the shape, yeah. and apart from the fact that you throw it, there is no relation. There is nothing alike. It's, yes. Right. How did it all start for you? My friend had been throwing uh, discuses in school, but she didn't know they were called discuses. She said she was, they were throwing plates about so I was like well I've never heard of a plate I don't, I don't know what you're talking about so yeah. we, we joined the club anyway we found these plates in the storeroom um, and then she was like yeah these are the things I was like never seen them all right and then uh, we asked one of the coaches and he got a little group of athletes around uh, we went to the discus cage we threw I beat everyone and I was like oh I like this one this is much better I like winning <laughs> and that's literally how it started and then since then I've just kind of entered competitions won some come last in some yeah so 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 you obviously you found the sport and you were very good at it and no doubt you trained a lot as well um over the years what kind of sacrifices did you have to make in order to get as good as you did i mean like you said you you, you kind of discovered it but yeah i don't i don't feel like i made any sacrifices the only difference is like friends in school at uni they would all go out and get drunk more often than i did that's kind of the difference, but I get to travel the world. I get to go, uh, this year I've been to California, yeah. I've been to South Africa, I'm going to Australia. There are, there are lots of things that I get to do that they won't do, so. I mean, there's obviously a lot of training involved. How much yes. do you try? So, typically we do uh, sprint sessions uh, because you need to be fast. Yeah. You need to do uh, jumping sessions, you need to be explosive. Uh, we do a lot of weightlifting, you need to be strong. Uh, we obviously throw things and we throw various things. We don't just throw discuses, we throw over and underweight discuses, bars. Um. So you do a lot of this training and you're obviously very good at this and you're being very modest about your career as well. I need to know, do you, do you Jade, have any role models? Um, I do now. I didn't when I was growing up. I kind of had, um, uh, it doesn't sound, well it sounds a bit negative, but it, it's not meant in a negative way. I had people that I didn't want to be. Um, as I've got sort of bigger in the sport, I now am a bit more aware of the yeah. other sporting people and, and um, role models, I guess. Yeah. So there are, there are two, well one in particular, and he's still going, and he is a sports person, yeah. no matter what people say. All right, who is this? Phil the Power Tailor. He is a dark person. <laughs> yeah, I know who you he mean. He dominates. Yeah. And domination is absolutely amazing. If you can be in the sport for well, however long your career manages to last well, but he, I mean, he's 16 time world champion. It's like, who does that? That is an interesting role model. I like him. I, I, he's, uh, he's well up there. All right then. Okay, so, so you, you've been doing your sport for quite a while. Um, are there any times, do you, do you have any sort of dark periods in amongst your training and stuff? Do you ever think to yourself, do you know what, I can't be bothered with this anymore, I feel like giving up. Have you ever had that, have you ever experienced that? No, in short. Um, I've had times where I, it's obviously got very difficult um, and I'm sure that comes in everybody's life, sporting or unsporting, and then things get harder. But well, for the part, for my best example is probably 2012. Um, I qualified for the Olympics and was the only person they could have possibly picked for the Olympics, and I wasn't selected. And I 
sat and watched my discus qualifying and the final in the crowds like everybody else and everyone was like oh we haven't got any discus throws and I'm like well I, I, I kind of qualified and I just sat there and watched it like oh how did that make you feel annoyed the, the qualifying was really really annoying um, there was a lot of pressures from me other people close people people that didn't know me there was, there was just a lot of expectation and a lot of pressure and that was that was all horrible but you you come out of it and you think why are you doing it i still enjoy the sport i think that's important you have to the fundamentals are you need to enjoy what you do yeah. i still enjoy it i can't picture my life without discus being a sports person being an athlete is that mindset that you have to have because let's face it you train a long time yeah for an activity that may you know last a couple of seconds a couple of minutes and then sometimes you might not even get that chance to do it no yeah so you, to cope with it the way you have is amazing i think i realized this year there is a real difference between people that really want something and yeah. people that kind of want something and the kinders just don't get there they'll float around and be quite close but you, you just won't get there. And the people that really want to, will get there. And I'm, I'm one of those, I really want to, and I will. So far in your career, ha what highlights have you had? Um, probably, probably two. Um, in 2009, I made the GB team. It was my first proper one for a championship. Mm -hmm. I went through qualifying, managed to qualify, and I was like, well, that's quite good. I'm yep. into a final, first final. Yep. And then went into the final and kind of realised that I was quite high up. I was sort of in third for quite a long time, then dropped down to fourth. And in my last round, I set a lifetime best and, and got a bronze medal in that. And I was ranked really low in that. So I was really happy to actually, first of all, make a team that I didn't officially make, but they picked yes. me anyway and I got a medal. Yes. Um, and then, uh, and the secondly, actually, the, uh, another Brit won that one. So we had two, two British medalists in the women's discus, which just doesn't happen. So I was part of that, so that was really cool. No, that is very amazing, very yeah. amazing. Now, because there's gonna be quite a lot of young people watching this, uh, you know, all starting out in their chosen sports and activities and disciplines, is there any advice that you can give? I think what I said earlier about that kind of, kind of wanting attitude, or you really want that attitude, yeah. it's, that will be the difference. That will be the difference between people not even people believing you or not, that would be the difference between you believe in yourself yeah. and making it yeah. and you not. So you can sit around maybe making teams, maybe making championships, maybe making... Sort of scraping by. Yeah, it? and and you might be the best in your club, you might be the best in the country, and I'm the best in the country, but it's just not enough. And it, it needs, that want needs to be something that you think about daily. It's something that's not, it is a dream, but it's also a reality. You know this is real, you know this is, every day you're one step closer to making it. That's the kind of one that you need. Wow, that is quite an amazing thing to say. Now listen, uh, before anything else, I just need to ask you, because you've, you've talked about the achievements and the things that you want to achieve. Now, you're a patron of Set for Success, so how do you view Set for Success? Um, I think this is a, an amazing thing. I think it's a, a really good opportunity for young athletes, young sports people, to give them that, that opportunity to push that, that step forward, to give them, I don't know, another lease of hopes. I mean, when I was growing up, this, this didn't exist. I didn't have yeah. any things like this. And to have some sort of organisation, some people, some sort of family, to an outside family, not like your friends and family, yeah. something outside, to have that as but, a... But as giving a, you things like, you know, financial support. Yeah, and, it's like a backing. Yeah, that kind of, we have faith in you. We think you're going to get somewhere. I think that's really, really important. And, and it can't just be, sometimes, it can't just be done with just friends and family and the financial help that these athletes can get is, is really makes a difference. I think, yeah, it's amazing. Things like this can be life-changing. Wow. Jade Lally, athlete, patron of Set for Success. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. It's all right.